In the comics, she's known as Agent 13. Let's find out who is Sharon Carter. Sharon Carter was born and raised in Virginia. She grew up idolizing her Aunt Peggy. Growing up, her aunt told her stories about her adventures as a French resistance fighter and her romance with Captain America. When Sharon was old enough, she joined S.H.I.E.L.D., hoping to have experiences similar to her aunt's. She was trained by S.H.I.E.L.D. in hand-to-hand -hand combat, martial arts, marksmanship, and espionage. She became a field agent and was given the code name Agent 13. On a mission early in her career, Sharon was ambushed by the mercenary Batroc. Steve Rogers, Captain America, just happened to be in the vicinity and came to Sharon's aid. With Captain America's help, Sharon was able to keep a highly explosive weapon from falling into the wrong hands. During their interaction, Captain America was in awe of how much she resembled his first love, Peggy Carter. The two went their separate ways after the mission, but ended up routinely crossing paths in the line of duty. The duo had numerous missions together and the two fell in love even though he didn't even know her real name. Captain America only knew her as Agent 13. Eventually, she was allowed by S.H.I.E.L.D. to tell him her real name. The two continued to have adventures together. Eventually, Sharon's devotion to S.H.I.E.L.D. and being in danger all of the time began to become an issue in Sharon and Captain America's relationship. Sharon soon became the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s elite all-female unit, the Fem Force. While leading the team, Sharon had conflict with another team member, Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, for always flirting with Captain America. Her flirting even led to Nick Fury becoming jealous and giving the order that no S.H.I.E.L.D. agent was to associate with Captain America. Although the order was rescinded shortly after, Sharon quit S.H.I.E.L.D. to spend time with Captain America. A short time later, Sharon received word that her Aunt Peggy was in bad shape, so she departed New York and headed home without telling Captain America. Upon arriving home, she was captured by Dr. Faustus, who was using the Carter family to lure Captain America into his trap. Sharon was able to resist his mind control and assisted Captain America and Falcon in saving Peggy from Faustus's control. Captain America then found out Sharon's family connection to Peggy. Eventually, Steve Rogers became embittered with all of the world's corruption and decided to give up being Captain America. Sharon stood by Steve and supported him, happy that they could now have a normal life. But their happiness was short-lived. Hawkeye convinced Steve Rogers he was wasting his powers, so Rogers decided he would create a new hero persona. Although Sharon voiced her displeasure with the decision, Rogers still became nomad. Sharon, no longer wanting to deal with his heroic adventures, moved home. After Rogers later returned, to his Captain America persona, Sharon consistently tried to get Steve to give up the hero life unsuccessfully. Sharon ended up being talked into returning to duty with S.H.I.E.L.D. While working for S.H.I.E.L.D., Sharon apparently died on a mission. She hadn't died and it was actually a ruse so she could be sent deep undercover on a top secret mission. Sharon then went undercover on that top secret mission but never made it to the extraction point and was assumed dead by S.H.I.E.L.D. and everyone else. Sharon found herself left behind enemy lines and had to make hard choices and did what she had to to survive. The experience hardened Sharon and gave her a new perspective. Captain America was then reunited with the hardened Sharon Carter. For years, he had believed Sharon was dead. As they teamed up, she informed Captain America of what had happened to her. After defeating the Cube Cult and the Red Skull, the duo returned to S.H.I.E.L.D. to try and find answers. Sharon Carter has continued to adventure in the Marvel Universe. She has been the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., served with the Secret Avengers, and teamed with Captain America on many more missions. Well, that's the origin and a brief history of Sharon Carter, and that's a wrap for this video. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out these videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. 
I'm gone. Peace.